Does Valorant feel different recently? Does it feel like your teammates just don't care at all about winning? Does the game feel boring to you? Do you miss the old enjoyment you had every time you launched the game? Are there days where you don't even feel like playing and prefer playing other games? Well, I promise you, you're not the only one. I have been playing Valorant for about 2 years now, and went from Iron 1 to Immortal, mostly solo queuing. I have seen and experienced everything Varn ranked has to offer, from 4 AFKs in the same team, throwers, and boosted people, you name it. If you are anything like me, you probably felt bored of this game in the past or maybe even right now. In this video, I'm gonna try to explain everything that changed and why this might be the case for a lot of people. And before you come to conclusions too quickly, no, Varn is not dying. The Paracon has been at an all-time high last month. First of all, Valorant's ranked experience is famously known for being really bad. People all over the internet have complained about it over the years. Even top tier players and streamers have stated their anger and complaints about the state of rank. Crypto throwers, people who bet on streamers games and then intentionally throw them by queue sniping into these lobbies got so bad at the beginning of the year that Tarek had to create a discord server to host private custom games with top rated players. But what about the other 99% of lower rated players who weren't affected by these crypto throwers? Well, let's just say these people had other things to worry about. Smurfing has been a huge problem in this team for a long time. Higher ranked players going on alt accounts to stomp on lower rated players or help their friends rank up faster is something that got normalized. These people that got boosted to higher ranks would then go and play poorly in these higher ranked lobbies, ruining even more games. I bet 99% of the people watching this video have either smurfed in the past or have had a game ruined by a smurf. This drives a lot of lower rated players away from the game as it ruins the competitive environment and fairness of the games. It's easy to say to those players to just get better, but the reality is most people at that level simply do not have the time to play a lot because of school or work. These players might have the time to play a few games a week and even one of them being ruined by a smurf ruins the fun and makes it less likely for them to come back the next day. This is even worse when content creators smurf for challenge videos since it promotes the concept to impressionable viewers. The thing is, there's no repercussion or downside of doing so, and it's basically just easy content that does really well. Even though it is technically against the rules to smurf, Riot will not do anything as it makes them a lot of money. This was proven during Timmy's Iron to the Radiant challenge, where he got banned midstream and the Riot dev went out of his way to unban his account so he could finish his challenge. Ten seconds left. Uh, what? I already messaged a dev. I was been messaging a dev this morning, and they said that my account was gonna get banned. Yeah, because I got banned for smurfing, unfortunately. Smurfing directly also leads to the botting of an insane amount of accounts that are leveled up and then deranked to iron to be sold. This problem leads to a bad experience for the five other players and just a waste of time for everyone. According to an article published by Riot last year, 27 players for every 1000 are showing up AFK playing Baron, and some of these are bots. Although there is still a lot of progress to be made as a community and by Riot, I do think this huge problem is getting better, especially since a few months ago. An influx of players and creators such as Wuhujin, OD26, and Manmaru started calling out other creators for smurfing. This actually led Joes to stop posting his knife only to gold challenge, even though he recently played games on that account. Riot also recently updated their report system and added a botting option showing a step in the right way. Since Varun has been out for 3 years now, it's inevitable that people would end up getting bored of the game. The repetitive nature of the games can lead people feeling burnt out from playing. This is because Varun focuses a lot on the competitive side and promotes esports a ton. This is obvious when looking at the viewership stats of Champions 2023 that had a peak of almost 1.3 million viewers during the grand finals, and an average viewership of almost 500k in current viewers. Riot even added an esports hub in the game to promote the event to more players. Because of this, the more casual side of Varen lacks in content and features. Just looking at updates, we get around 2 new maps and agents every year compared to Fortnite, which was getting an update every week when it was popular. I personally think Varen lacks a bit of community content. 
something similar to the CS workshop. I would like to be able to play game modes people created and just more diversity in the game in general. If you take a look at Baron's content on YouTube right now, most video ideas probably have already been done in the past. After 2 years of playing the game, I finally reached Immortal, a goal of mine that I had been trying to achieve for a long time. But what's next? Do I want to go for Radiant and spend even more time getting better? Do I want to start making content? Should I start playing something else? I don't think I'm the only one that feels like this and doesn't have a clear goal on what they want to do next in this game after playing Calm for such a long time. For most people, the ranked gun buddies are just not something exciting to get anymore and the game lacks rewards for achieving certain ranks. Now you might be wondering, why was the game better before even though the graphics were, let's just say, not the best? The game is obviously way more balanced now than before, but why do we have that nostalgic feeling? Why did the game feel better back then? How are we supposed to enjoy the game again? I honestly think taking a break is just the best thing to do if you don't feel like playing. Otherwise, getting a clear goal you're trying to achieve or a rank you're trying to climb to is something really motivating to play. Also, if you're someone that gets tilted easily, I recommend muting anyone that even triggers you a little bit so you can keep your mental up and that usually makes you play better. At the end of the day, as long as you find a way to enjoy the game, that's all that really matters. I might be the only one feeling like this, but if you also think Baron has felt different lately, I hope this video was able to resonate with some of you guys. I only recently started making content, so if you have any criticism or topics you might want me to cover next, make sure to let me know. 